one of our jigs that never really gets talked about much anymore is honestly what started crappy man jigs is the little the little stinker it was the first mold we ever got first time my dad got to learning how to make the color that he enjoys and for the longest time this is one of the only jigs that he would use you know i stayed with the tried and true for a long time but i mean when the fish break down and won't bite this is an amazing jig for getting a getting a reaction strike i'll i normally use it like just as a finesse jig i'll keep it on another pole you know they stop biting the minnow good i'll switch to this one and you can get a lot more bites off a brush that just quits on you. So you pull up to a brush, you catch one or two, then they quit. Switch to this one, you could probably, you know, get a couple more off of it. I mean, tried and true, this brush or dot right here has been beat up the past couple days. That's why I'm starting with a little stinker. to get on a little bit fired up get a couple in the boat hopefully I mean you may not get a bite at all it's part of fishing but I see him on the graph up there so we should lay in the one here soon oh. had a little peck I got this new new scent that I bought at Walmart yesterday I'm gonna try it out never used it I don't know if it comes out as a spray or what. oh some some goo shit so I'll put some on the boat right there did the old jig in it it's like some red stuff <laughs> ones I see on the graph are about five foot four to five foot so you want to keep the jig above their heads because normally a crappy feet up not down sometimes they will but most of the time you they want to feed down I mean up not down <laughs> Nice little chunker. Sorry for the wind, guys. But this dock has been fished so much the past couple days. Unreal. So what I'm doing, put a little stinker on, like I said. Check the other where we've been catching them. They just ain't biting there. Well, there's no fish there. So with all the boat traffic and everything and the wind's blowing into the dock. I'm throw past the dock and I'm letting my jig. I'll show you. Like my rod's right there. Let my jig wash up under the dock with the wind blowing. So that way we can get to the fish that ain't been touched for the most part. And we got this little finesse jig on here. So that just ups our odds even more of catching a limit now. I mean, I'm not looking for big ones doing this technique, but I'm getting up under that dock. You know, you got the waves and everything messing with them, all the people that's fished them, all that stuff. So hopefully we can put some more in the box. Oh, there he was right there. way to fish the, the little stinker it's got a really long tail so you want to give it erratic jerks kind of like a like a like a, a 1.5 inch uh, jerk bait so I'll show you to my rod I got to keep the camera like this because of the wind 
I'm like jerking it and moving it at the same time and then letting it fall back down. There he is. <laughs> as soon as it gets up under that dock. Nice little chunker. There's another one. Get in here, boy. <laughs> I can't see him. I don't know how big he is. Nice one. A little stinker doing the job. Oh, yeah. Can't beat this jig, man. Especially when the bite's tough. Like it's almost one o'clock now. It's taking me this long. Like, I think I got nine fish. And I made a little video about how to catch them in the muddy water, but other than that, I mean, they were a bigger fish doing that, but God, it was slow. So hopefully we can catch saw him pretty fast here. Nineteen, boys. Need one more. It's been a grind today. Been a grind. I had to change jigs, change rods, everything. <laughs> It's a brand new rod I got for Christmas. Finally breaking it in. There you go, wind. Sorry about the wind noise, guys, but we're gonna ride it out until I get number 20 like we always do. If I can keep the boat in a good position. And I can't, the boat's going over here. Having to turn on my spot lock which I ain't got a spot lock, it's just, it automatically pushes me into that dock over there. Oh, never mind. There's number 20 right there. Boom. <laughs> Man, he's about nine inches, but we'll take it. And that's how you get a limit on a highly pressured areas. Middle of winter, water temp 45 degrees. And the river's muddy, and this one isn't as muddy, but it's still a little dingy. That's how you do it, guys. It takes patience. It is now, I think, about 1 o'clock. And I've been out here since 8 o'clock. You just find a fish on your depth finder, grind it out. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me. Hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Yee! -yee.